buffet at Costa Colero. Just thought I'd show you what it looks like. I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed to be honest with you. There's no maitre d' that sits you down, or there's no pots of coffee. Everything's self-service. Um, but nevertheless, maybe I've been spoiled, I don't know. Um, let me show you around anyway, so you can see what it looks like, see what's on offer, so see if you want to consider it. So just over there is where you can get yourself some soft drinks, and obviously the beer and the wines in the evenings. This is the same restaurant. So over here we've got a selection of yogurts. Now don't get me wrong, the selection of stuff is actually quite good. Um, we've got some breads, all different types of breads. All different types of fruit, you can see. All different kinds. You've got juices, cucumber water. Again, all different types of fruit. You can see. You've got sausages, beans, bacon, running a little low at the moment, but yeah, you've got all sorts of different things. All your sauces you could want just there. Again, it's not really about the selection. Even though the selection for me is not to my taste, it might be to some of your taste. And what we got, we got some eggs there. They do cheese eggs, they've got fried eggs, and they've got plain eggs, omelets, sort of thing. You can't get um, like a ham omelet or anything like that. So normally you get. Um, where they make it for you to order, but they don't do that here. Got some pancakes, like salad toppings, random for breakfast, but hey ho. And this side's all the same as the other side, apart from you've got this bit here, which is different stuff. And then you've got all your cheese, your meats here, all different types of meats and pâtés. And then you've got all different types of cheeses. Right, now this is the really disappointing bit for me, the pastry selection. There's like four or five pastries. It's really not that great. Again, it serves a purpose, but for me, it's not that great. And the cereals, we've got cereals. But again, for me, not that great. So, over here, there's like a juice selection, so you can, you can get juice. It's like auto pours, and then you just use the jugs to pour what juice you want. And then, you've got a coffee machine. There's no actual service at the table, which is quite annoying. So this, this actually does get quite a big queue. So that's pretty much the breakfast area, and what you can have for breakfast. Um, Again, it might be to some of your tastes, but for me, maybe I've been spoiled, uh, but it is what it is. Morning, so after our uh, breakfast, sorry, <laughs> we're gonna um, go for a little stroll along the front here at the windy hotel. Walk. We're going on a windy walk, yeah. It's, it's a bit cloudy, a bit overcast again this morning, but hopefully that'll brighten up towards the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna have a little walk around to Marina Rubicon. So yeah, that's going to take us. Apparently, it's going to take us about 20 minutes. Yeah, I reckon about 20 minutes. What's the time now? Um, 9.34. 9.34, so we'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> See you in a bit. That's an aeroplane. Hopefully, yeah. Right, so we've just made it to Marina Rubicon. And what is the time, Sophie? 9.57. 9.57. But we did stop. So how long's that? That's 20 minutes, isn't it? Yeah. We always stop for like three minutes. Yeah, so yeah, 15, 20 minute walk. And, uh, at a slow pace. At a slow pace, a leisurely pace. Um, what was you going to say? If he was marching, fast. If he was a marcher, yeah. 10, minutes. 10 minutes. Yeah. But yeah, there's the marina just here, look. So this is the Vulcan Hotel just next to us. Um, pretty fancy one, a big fake volcano. We've been in there. That's worth a laugh if you want to go in there in the entrance. So when you go in the entrance of the Vulcan Hotel, it's like a church, and you go in there and it's all prayers and stuff. It's quite interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but maybe we'll go in there and we'll show you at some point. There's loads of these little cat houses everywhere as you walk along as well. So 
obviously maybe there's some cat charity or something like that I don't know but anyway we're gonna go down into the marina um, and uh, yeah enjoy ourselves in there it's like bars and stuff If you're on a Sunday, there's actually a market down here. So if you get yourselves, if it's on a Wednesday or a Sunday, I'll double check. But yeah, we might even go to it ourselves actually. So yeah, well, I've just got to show you this. It looks really nice. So this is the Vulcan Lanzarote. Um, again, this is another view of it. Look how good this looks. So that's obviously their restaurant there. That looks like a beautiful place to go and have some breakfast. Alright, here we go then, we're in the marina. Some lovely boats in here. And the yacht game's a different game, isn't it? You know, it might have people with nice houses and stuff and blah blah blah, but the yacht game, if you've got one of these big yachts, you must have some money, I tell you. Even the moorings alone. Just an absolute fortune. Nice camera in there. Is there loads of fish? No. no? So we just stopped here for a little ice cream for the boys. That's the place. But there you go. So we're literally uh, in the heart of the marina at the moment. So the boys have got, what flavour have you got, Jack? Vanilla. It's got a nice little vanilla ice cream. What flavour have you got, Charlie? Um, he's got marshmallow. Marshmallow, oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? Um, Noah's just chilling out. And uh, yeah, this is where we're sitting. Oh. All right, so we just got our coffees come out. Got a couple of cappuccinos, They're only little, but they look nice. Got a bit of cinnamon on top. Have a little look at this. Biscoff biscuit. Yeah, a little biscoff biscuit as well. So seven euros for two cappuccinos and five euros for one scoop of ice cream each. So not cheap. No. <laughs> not cheap at all. But we've got a nice place to sit and we're enjoying the ambiance. Cappuccino. Right. It's your thing. Is it? Right, so we're down in the marina. Again, sorry about the wind if it is windy, but I didn't bring the mic. But you can see behind me, there's this lovely bar called Oasis. So if you go in there, it's sort of like uh, was it Asian cuisine, right? So if you go in there, you have yourself a nice Chinese and a swim. And then just over there is another part of Oasis. I don't know if it's the same company, I'm assuming it is because it's the same name. Um, but yeah, lovely bar there. And then obviously you get to sit there and you've got a nice view of the marina. That looks a lovely place. So we're at Marina Rubicon. Here at Marina Rubicon, there is also a shopping center. As you can see, I'll show you that. So we're just gonna go and have a look, see what this looks like in here. <laughs> All right, boy, go on in. See you do it. Go on in. No? Useless. Anyway. Oh, the joys of travelling with three children. <laughs> when they don't want to sit in their pram anymore. Alright, <laughs> boy. <laughs> oh, the uh, bubble waffles. Come on, then, we're going in here, boys. Let's go. Come on. So, this is the uh, little supermarket. Oh, thank you, dear. <laughs> My darling. So, this is the pram. 
This is the pram. This is the mall. All right, so we're in the mall. Let's take a look, see what it looks like. We've got a fun group, eh? I'm not going to go through all the names because I don't know them. But anyway, yeah. Does it look like a lot of it's closed? Yeah, I was going to say there was a soft play, but it looks all looks closed. But it might just be because it's early. It's still only like what, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock? Yeah. So it might be like twelve o'clock. Yeah, but there's a big dino, hyper dino there, so you might go and have a look in there. But yeah, interesting. Somewhere different. All right, so now we've stopped off at a park. It's a brand new park at the front. I think it's the front, uh, or well, the sea end of the brand new Barcelo Hotel here in Lanzarote, which is just behind me. So I do apologise for the wind noise. I'll probably have to redo all this and come down with a microphone because it is so windy. But I have got it with me. Uh, but there it is, just there. How big is that? That's crazy. But this is the park. So this park is actually part of um, that hotel, and they built it all. I mean, it's a bit of a weird park because it's all mainly concrete, but it's good for the kids. It's little Noah. Noah, you want to go on the swings? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, nice. So we're currently held up in the um, hotel because it's raining. We're held up because it's raining. No, we could stop because I'm not walking in that road. Exactly, it's raining. We're in Lanzarote and it's raining. Of all the luck. It probably rains like three times a year and it's raining. Yeah. No, because Norman Bates here. Norman Bates? Yeah. What do you mean? Oh, no, Norman. Not Norman Bates, Norman Bissell. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what's, what? what's the one who's always Frank? Isn't it? Frank Spencer? <laughs> That's a nice cactus, isn't it? 